All right, we're getting close to the end. So, another one of these rooms. Uh, you can see there's uh, steam vents that knock you over. Which uh, isn't too much of a problem, but once this uh, conveyor belt gets going, then you gotta look out for those. So, just shimmy your way up to the top. And you'll see some basketball hoop doors to your right here. So pull out your bombs. And shoot some hoops. Okay, and then uh, that'll let you time change the room. Now I was screaming at the TV right there because I was frantically stabbing, doing the stabbing motion and it wasn't killing that guy. <laughs> so I don't know what the deal with that was. Just kind of run across those. If you pull this lever, it's going to bring the... Bring this thing over to you. Floating platform and head across. And there's a couple more uh, basketball hoops and one of these money guys. Money, money, money. So you can see there, there's um, really nothing behind these uh, doors except some symbols. So if you already know what you're doing, you don't really need to open these up. You can see one on the right, two on the left, two in the middle. That's going to be the pattern that you're going to use in a second. So blow this platform that's out in the middle to the right so you can hop on it. on it now when you get across here you definitely want to move this box uh, it's blocking a ladder that you're going to use in just a second there's some extra bombs in there if you're running short, because you're gonna need them. Whew, I almost fell off. Stupid auto jump. So blow yourself in front of this first basketball hoop. And it's a switch.
Okay, next one. last one. Okay, so we got three switches and directly across the way you'll see those three that you open. So the first one is going to be on the left, the second one on the right, the third one in the middle. That's the order you have to hit these switches. So the left, the right, the middle. And you can use your hook beetle to, to activate those things if you want. That'll open up the door. So since you move that block, blocking the uh, ladder, you can just jump down here if you want to make your way back to the door. And in here, you got two of these, uh, I don't know what they're called, I didn't, I didn't look it up. But you blow their heads, propeller heads, that's what I'll call them. Uh, try to only, uh, you know, get one of them after you at a time. It's much harder if they're both attacking you. So if you just stay to one side of the room, you should have only one of these guys attacking you. There we go. Oh god. Yeah, I really kind of struggle here. I did a much better job killing these guys in my practice run. I don't know what happened. There we go. Come on, get it. Luckily they have uh, some hearts when you kill them, and there's also some hearts in those uh, barrels and getting killed by these guys. your dust buster seems like it's off just hit down on the d-pad to recenter it we well, want to hit down on the d-pad while you're pointing at the center of the screen obviously there we go and that's the boss key in there you can tell by the fact that it's an awesome looking treasure chest Oh yeah, Ancient Circuit. So, there was another door that was still locked in the previous room, so that unlocked. And that's how you get out of this room. So, jump down. And you're gonna have to sprint across this conveyor belt with steam. So, get going. You see I missed that uh, stamina flower, but right now I'm just walking, and I'm, I'm staying pretty, pretty much in the same spot. So, when you get right up to the edge of one of these steam things, just kind of stay in place by walking instead of running. Oh, I did not want to do that. I accidentally hit the button on the controller. That zooms you into first person view. Whoopsies. Oh. 
pay for it. Here we go. Alright. And this takes you back to that main room. And up this ladder is the last treasure chest of the temple. So you want to be full on hearts at this point, because the next next thing you're doing is the boss fight. Wow, 20 rupees. And you can open up this shortcut for yourself, if you want. Alright. So now, head back to the end of the room. And you're gonna take this last platform across while you follow the minecart. And you should save because you're about to do a boss fight. Sometimes when you save, it doesn't save the position of the minecart. So just remember you can use those. Um, levers to pull the minecart over. So just kind of stay along at the same pace as the minecart. And you can see that lever to the right. That's the lever that'll bring the minecart over if you need it. And here's the door to the boss.